Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. We're so honored to have back on Grammy Award winning entertainer, singer, songwriter, guitarist, harmonica player, a man that does it all and continues to do it all, Bobby. Thank you for coming on the show. Well, Eric, thank you for having me, man. I'm glad to be here. And Bobby anytime. Rush, I tell you what, every time you come in the show, Bobby, I feel like you look younger. Oh, no. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind it, of exercise you're doing. I don't know the if food. If you keep saying that, I get beside myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you've got, it's so incredible. You've got a new album out. Yeah, a new album out. And so let's talk about it. All my love for you. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm not talking about just one person, uh, one direction. Right. What I meant about that is, honestly, all my fans, right. all my friends, TV station, radio station, newspaper, any, anybody who's knew me and wrote about me, talked about me, and got me to where I am, those are my friends. I thank you. All my love is for you. Well, you know, and I got to tell you, on this new album, Bobby, and, and I took a deep listen on it, and there's so many great and powerful tracks on here. And, uh, and one of my favorites, you know, since you, you know, are one of the last, you know, living blues legends. But also, you know, you bring in funk and R&B and everything else. You, you keep it fresh. But I'm the one. And laughed up. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know, and so many of your, your songs and albums in the past, Bobby, have, have really embraced humor. Yeah. Because you're yeah. good with that. But also, you like to give a message. And yeah, I think it, in, in I'm the one, you know, and also I'm free. You're bringing a message. Well, when you talk about I'm free, I was, I was thinking about uh, the Sam Cooke who wrote a song was so great, the change gonna come. Right. And I was thinking about Jane Brown who wrote I'm Black and I'm Proud. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about uh, the, all the things that people wrote about in song in order to educate people about themselves, about where we ought to be in life. Right. And I said to myself, what I'm gonna do? And I will start to write this song about uh, when I was a boy down in Louisiana, mm -hmm. but the things I used to do down in Louisiana, I don't do anymore. Right. I used to carry water 15 miles for 50 cents a day. It was a shame a boy at nine years old had to work so hard every day. Mm -hmm. I used to pick cotton in the cotton field. Now I'm still picking cotton, but I own a piece of the field. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> it's powerful. I mean, yeah. to me, you know, just like with your whole career, Bobby, yeah. this album seems more autobiographical and and also you know i i enjoy the 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 tv the mama TV song yeah, which yeah, you yeah, did yeah, which yeah, is yeah. which is fun which you know only you can do a song like that but also let's talk about uh, uh one monkey does make a a show because you know well we were talking about it. one monkey can't stop a show i started that but then when I thought about it, one monkey can stop a show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we all use that, that saying, yeah, you know, yeah, in we our all lives. Just, right, you know, exactly. and it's, it's, you know, it's timeless. Yeah. But, you know, to make that kind of statement in a song, Bobby. But know, it's a true, it's a true statement. One monkey okay. can stop a show mm -hmm. because some women don't put up with the same thing some other women's put up Right, with. right. And so you better watch out, especially the one to cook dinner for you, because they don't tell you what she might do to you. <laughs> Cause one day you fix your breakfast, you you feed it to your dog, your dog will fall dead. Then you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to ask you this, Bobby. You know, obviously with your career spanning 60 years now, yeah. and you know, and we've talked about it in the past. You know, you have have played with all the legends. I mean, we were talking before we came in the studio. You know, BB King, yeah, Bobby Blue uh, Bland. You know, Johnny uh, Hooker, Johnny Lee the, Hooker, I Muddy mean, Water, the Howling Wolf, Muddy, all and, these, and these, all were, these, these were your peers, and and you've got even Buddy Guy now. Oh yeah, yeah. retiring, retiring, and he's my best friend. I, I I hate to see him retire, but then again, it's okay to retire if you take a something with it in the retirement, right? You know, but it's but okay. Bobby it's Rush okay. is not retiring. I don't plan to, you know, I don't, I don't plan to, man. I plan to kick it uh, until I can't, you know, right. you know, I don't. I'm just feeling good doing what I'm doing. I'm still enthused right. already about what I do. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. You know, I know a man can live a long time without water or food, but you can't live long without hope. I still have hope. And it seems like you have a, a fresh message, you know, and I think certainly with your past two Grammys, which you more than deserved, and even, you know, in your past albums that didn't get acknowledged as much and should yeah. have been, it seems like this one you're really making a statement for yourself, Bobby, you know, you're for, right. for all audiences with your music. You're so right to, to gather that in this songs that I've written and this album, there's a lot of direction I've taken, but mm -hmm. it's about where I've been, right. where I am, where I want to go. And I'm talking about me. Right. 
and then hoping that I can put myself into your lap so you can understand me. Hope that it'll be you also. Hope that it'll touch you and you can understand where I'm coming from because, hey, man, I'm just a music man. But I got you know, but you're more than that. I mean, Bobby, you know, certainly seeing you perform live and and seeing the crowds, how much they adore you. But what struck me too was to when you know you have a, a little child. And I know this recently happened to you <laughs> overseas performing yeah, to sold yeah. out audiences. Yeah, yeah. But to when you have you know people my age and older, and yeah. then you have children and everything else that are mesmerized by your show and your message. I mean, what does that feel like? It feels good when you see when you're talking to kids about my music and they're looking at me at my age and I talk to them about things of, of their age and I tell them a lot of times, say, listen, I know you may be young, don't know where the blues coming from, but all the music comes from the blues. It's the mother of all music. Yes, it is. If you don't like the blues, you probably don't like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that going to be the next T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and I tell them, if I'm the, uh, you know, the rappers, I don't kick what the rappers do, and I don't endorse everything they do, mm -hmm. because people talk about how they have, wear their pants down. I don't want to get into that, but because if you lift the head level up, the pants will come with it. Well, and I think that so many young people and so many artists, even like we were talking about with Chris Stone, yeah. to where they acknowledge you they acknowledge. and want to play music with you. Right and be a part of your legacy now. And, and, and keep the music going, uh, going and, and endorsing the music mm -hmm. and, and keeping that blues alive, man. Right. You Which, know, yeah. I don't, I'm not kidding about the rappers and the, the country western. Oh, that's good. Right. Because if it wasn't for uh, Jane Brown and Bobby Royce, wouldn't be no 50 cent, be a dime a quarter or something like that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, you know, that's what I said too. And, and, and all joking aside on Bobby, you know, entertainer, to yeah. where when, when people come to your show and the reason that you continue to sell out shows yeah. all around the world is because not only are you an incredible musician with your, with your vocals, your voice is strong, you play guitar, you play incredible harmonica, but also you entertain, you, you share that's the what, stories, and that's, that's what touched my heart you know, the last this, time I saw you. Every, this bit is about, it's not about singing, playing guitar, all that's good, mm -hmm. but it's about entertaining. That's the entertainment business. This is the business we're in. We've got to entertain it. It's, it's like TV. If you don't have anything to entertain people, they tune you off by all. I but but when I was watching you, Bobby, I was not thinking about anything else except <laughs> your performance and the song that you were sharing and the stories that you were sharing. Well, when I did this record about uh, the, the, the lady was getting a little fat, uh, you, you probably didn't recognize that. But what I was talking about, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Bobby Ray's like I'm like that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think what was so great with though with TV Mama on this album is to where it's it's all right to be in yeah. whatever shape we are. Well, I was you just know? talking about she may be picking up a little weight, but it's all in the right place. Right. You know. Then I talked about in another song about the lady was so skinny, if she turned sideways, I thought she was gone. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but that's and, all right. And, and, but the thing to is, though, own. your mind is so sharp and your wit is so sharp. Only Bobby Rush can pull off these kind of songs. What? I don't know. I, I don't think you one. can see any other artist doing it and then making people go, yeah, I'd like to hear that yeah, again. Yeah, 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 I'd yeah, like yeah, to see yeah, that yeah. again. But, well, I try to bring laughter to my stage. and I try to bring uh, peace and try to bring some fun for the moment. Yeah. Because everybody got troubles and problems. Right. Just come to my show, and I guarantee you, for that few moments, you'll forget about them. Well, and I've got to bring this up, too. If, if being in the Blues Hall of Fame and two Grammys and 16 Blues Awards wasn't enough, now there's going to be a Broadway play yes, about Bobby Rush. Rush. Yeah, called, talk called Slipping Through the Crack. I wasn't supposed to be here, but I slipped through the crack. <laughs> I slipped through the crack. <laughs> but yeah, I said that and laughed matter because on a serious tip, I happen to know uh, Sam Cooke just uh. didn't die. I happen to know B.B. King crossed over. And he had to cross out sometime because of the business situation with his management and the record company. I happen to know Ray Charles and a few other people. That's something that they did in their life just wasn't just right, but they had to do what they have to do because they were told what to do. Mm -hmm. I, you're going to find out that Michael Jackson and uh, just didn't die. Prince just didn't die. I slipped through the crack. I wasn't supposed to be here, but God have blessed me to be around these many years, and I'm still in the right state of mind, thinking pretty decent. 
And I'm, I still have love in my heart for everyone. And I'm playing the blues and not ashamed of myself, of my blues, of my blackness. Right. And here I am. It's an honor, though. I, I think it's a... Uh, I think it helps other people yeah. with with you know being that honest in your music and in your shows. And also, I've got to bring up too that your your uh, best selling book is oh, still available. Still Cause, available because I know when this came out and we had you on the show a while back, it's like this was just coming out. Just coming out. And and it has sold, sold like a wildfire. Sold well. And 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 you know what? I I want people to know when you buy this book and you read it, it's not so much about the money issue of the book, although it helps. But I didn't write it for that. I mm -hmm. want you to get the information from it because in the valleys that I've been through, the hills that I've been that I climbed, I fell but I got up. Mm -hmm. If I can make it, you can too. Right. It's a, it's a powerful story, Bobby. And and in your spare time, also now you're also producing <laughs> artists. <laughs> What's I mean? I'm producing Miss Low. Miss Low. This is this is one of the first. <clears throat> video that she done mm -hmm. and I did with her off of the this came this pull off of the CD itself done now right uh, how do you find time to do all this and 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 she's been with you for years performing I don't with find you. the time she makes me take the time <laughs> <laughs> but I mean what a, what a great thing to uh, you know but I'm past it down I'm, right. I'm, I won't I, I know I won't be here forever and I want to pass some things down so she can survive this rat race, even if I'm not in this life, mm -hmm. even if I'm gone. She can she can go for herself. And working with award-winning, you know, musicians and everything else to bring on board for this and, I think, and having your great ear. You're right, but I think she's going to find out what it's not before what it is mm -hmm. and, and deal with it. You but, fall down, you make mistakes, you get up. Because if you learn from the mistake, it's really not a mistake. It's well, step and step step. I got to bring this up too, Bobby. Obviously, with your book that I'm a huge fan of, and then you're, you're producing and everything with working with artists. But with the new album, All My Love for You, it feels like there should be a documentary on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, now was. is the time because you've got some of the artists, such as your buddy, you know, Buddy Guy, you know, still alive, and you've got all these young artists that point to you. As, as a person that they want to emulate, a person that they, you know, amazed at the legend that you've become, is that in the works? That's in the works. That's in the works. But, you know, I hadn't planned to be this artist that I am now. That wasn't in the plan. But I lived long enough. I looked around uh, 40, 50 years ago. I was looking up to John Lee Hooker, Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, B.B. King, and saying, they're old men. Now I'm the old man. <laughs> You know, old man. I remember going to Muddy Water birthday party. He was old. He was 29 years old. Oh, my gosh. And I was like a teenager, you mm -hmm. know. He invited me by, and I forgot to go to his birthday party. When I went to a Muddy Water birthday party, he was 29 years old. The party was over. He was upstairs. He said, blood, you late. Come around to the back. I went around to the back. He had about 20 ladies up in the room. They all had the dresses up to here. They was old. They was 28 years old, 29. Old. One lady said, I'm 33. I sneaked out the back door. 33 years old? <laughs> I wish he had another birthday party or nothing like that. <laughs> but to have those kind but of stories, me, Bobby. But, 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 but when you're young, you think right. silly stuff, man. Yeah, Come but on. like we were talking about the Kings, though, with yeah. Albert and everything. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, right. you know, you toured with all those. I mean, Bobby Blue Bland. Oh, Bobby Blue Bland, you know, B.B. King, Albert King, John Lee Hooker, Smoker Hall, uh, Golly, Bo Dilly, oh and my all the guys. Man, please. I've been on the state with most of the guys, man. Right. I look around, I got to be old, because I've been around the guys, and but, they taught me a lot. But also, Bobby, let's be honest, great music and your talent and entertainment and energy at your age, that's why you're selling shows out internationally, you know, playing the city wineries, playing everywhere else here in the United States, and now artists want to play and be with you now you are that legend. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you for that. You know, I, one thing I hate sometimes that I got band members been with me, drama been with me 40 years, blah, been with me 30, 40, 45 years. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can't take them with me like I desire to. Right. Because it's more feasible for me to do things crucially with my guitar mm -hmm. because it makes more sense financially with the promoters and the right. whole bit. 
and the flying the whole bit. It just costs money to do whatever. You have to cut down, and that's the way I cut down. But even when I cut down, I still can display myself into places that most people can't do and say and go because I can do a show by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I can tap dance, I can ham bone. But don't you think that goes yeah. back to the historical <laughs> blues legends yeah, where, like we were yeah, talking about Johnny yeah. Lee Hooker? Johnny Lee could have a full band or be by himself. Yeah, same thing with BB and all the other, you know, great uh, blues artists that you worked with. They would do the same thing, Bobby. You're, you're still living that dream. I thought, I thought about Johnny Lee Hooker. Johnny Lee Hooker, on the stage, you probably didn't know he studied. Mm. Off the stage, he said, ha, 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 Bobby Ray, ha, ha, how you doing? Off the stage. Wow. When he's on the stage, he never studied. He tell me, he said, Bobby, Bobby Rush, you, you, you gonna be all right when you get older as I am. <laughs> <laughs> and see, hey, I am. Johnny was you know, right. Yeah, Johnny well, I'll right. tell you what, you got so many great things going. I know that, you know, you're still touring the world. Still touring the world. And, uh, and I've got to ask you this too, with all my love for you, is this going to be on vinyl also? It's on vinyl. Okay, right, It's on vinyl now. You can pick it up any way you pick up a record, mm -hmm. any way you pick up a Stevie Wonder, I'm using that for an example. Uh, Elton John, you can pick up a Bobby Rush. I'm small, but I'm not that small where you can't find me. But also, so, you've got them on your website to where people website, want to sign copies. Sign and copies, I know the book. The book my cup. Uh, if you don't drink, start to drink and get your cup and drink with me. <laughs> but uh, I said that in a laughing joke, but I want you to lay with Bobby Rush. Let me tell the public, thank you for sticking with Bobby Rush and let me be myself. And thank you for having me on the show for the fifth time, I believe. I believe you're right. And uh, thank you for what you have done, what you're doing, what you're planning to do, because what you say about me, what people perceive me to be. Thank you. Well, I, I think you transcend that, Bobby. I think your music does. I think your heart, your shows, everything you do, you do from the heart. And honestly, I know with the new songs on this new album, All My Love For You, you worked on these during the pandemic, oh, yeah, back when you yeah. couldn't tour. When I could, couldn't go no place, man, I was just in there working on these songs. Mm -hmm. and, and God bless me, so I did 10 songs. I said, now I'm gonna pick the three best songs out of the 10. And I, all the 10 songs were equally as good. So I cut 10 <laughs> more songs. <laughs> and honestly, yeah. I cut 10 more songs. And, I, and I, they were equally as good, so I said, well, I, I just shut my eyes and started to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, the, I think the Grammy Awards, I think all the awards are going to have problems keeping up with you yep. on what you're putting out because it's a, you know, it just seems like it keeps getting better. Bobby, you're not mailing it in. You are still creating better songs and better music every time you do this. I have a song that is not getting played yet. It's going to go, I want to. I love that song. Let me tell you, it's, uh, it's a cross uh, song that, I think everybody gonna like. Mm -hmm. I'm appreciative of what everybody have done so far, but I think this this CD will last longer than anything I ever done because there's so many things inside the CD and give me so many direction. And the message. So many, the message. The message the young, from your heart, the old, the, You know, I'm free, man. I'm yes. free. And we're thankful. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I got the shackles off my feet, chained off my mind. I'm free. That's why I'm smiling. I'll tell you, it's, it's incredible. Uh, be sure, you know, however you consume music, whether you uh, listen to it digital through a playlist or you want the vinyl, the CD, uh, All My Love For You is out. You need to pick it up. But I think get the autograph copy. Also get this book. Uh, you're going to want to check this out. If you don't get this book, I think you can see the title that I ain't studying you. <laughs> <laughs> My American Blue Story by Bobby Rush. And, uh, you know, they need to go to your website. Go to the website. You can go to any download, any, where you get any music. So you won't get crossed up. Any music form. I'm on all of them. Well, and I'll tell you what. I think that all of our viewers, too, and, and obviously your fans and your new fans that you gather every day, you need to come and see Bobby Rush live because you really can't experience the music until you see Bobby and his band play live and do this music. I, I think this album's a hit. You got so many great songs on here. But I didn't have the ham bone on, but I can do it. <laughs> and you're gonna hear some great <laughs> harmonica playing too. <laughs> yeah, I can do that too. We, we've and, got and, it all. You got it all. If I get through the ham bone, I'm gonna set. The one and only Bobby Rush. Be sure and check him out online. Follow him on social media. All My Love For You is out now. 
You need to check this music out. You're going to love it as much as I do. Bobby Rush, thank you for coming back on Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show.